Hello and thank you and welcome to Amsterdam here in the Netherlands. My name is Todd Grisham. We're here to get you set for Glory 85, which takes place April 27th right here in Holland. Tickets go on sale soon. Go to glorykickboxing.com for more information. And here in Holland, Glory Kickboxing is presented exclusively on Videoland. And we'd also like to say thank you to our new sponsor, Unibet. Now, what makes Glory 85 so special and unique? And trust me, it is. We're going to find out those answers right now. Please welcome our co-founder of Glory, Mr. Scott Rudman. Hey, guys. Happy days here in sunny, warm Amsterdam. Hello, Glory fans watching around the world. Great to see everybody here. So I get a great pleasure today. This is going to be an amazing year at Glory. We have some of the best plans we've ever had and some of the best events coming up in the history of the sport. This year, we're going to bring back tournaments. And I'm going to talk a little bit about tournaments, and I'm going to tell you why we're doing tournaments. Martial arts, believe it or not, let's think for a minute. Let's go back thousands of years. It wasn't, martial arts were not invented to be displayed in a ring. Martial arts were invented to fight. They were for war. They were for defense. They were for attacking the enemy, defending your village, promoting politi political actions. They were meant for real fighting. So when you're out in the field real fighting and you fight and you defeat your opponent, you don't get to go back to the locker room and chill out. You gotta fight the next guy and the next guy and you keep going until you can't fight anymore. That's why we do tournaments, because this is a multi-thousand-year-old tradition from Taekwondo, from Korea, from Karate, from Japan, from Kung Fu, from China. This is where it comes from. So this is why we do it. So we're going to do it this year, and we're going to do a big one in December. At the end of this year, a big GP, eight-man eight heavyweight tournament. We're going to have a big prize. The winner of that is going to get $500,000 for winning that tournament, plus their fight fees. So how are we going to, so all you guys that aren't heavyweights, sorry, you got to bulk up, man, get, get going. But um, how are we going to choose who's going to be in that? So across this year, we're going to have six events. Some will be tournaments, some will be just bouts. And the winner of that will get a spot in the tournament, six spots. And then we have two wild cards, which Robbie will choose and I will choose and Pierre will choose. So we're going to have eight guys fighting in December, and that's going to be a huge tournament. Looking forward to it. And then also we have this event coming up in April, which is also going to be a four-man tournament, which I'm going to let Todd introduce the participants into this right now. All right. Thank you, Scott. By the way, it's April 29th. I said April 27th. I thought so. And I think Petch Panamarong wants to know if he can put on uh, enough weight, he can be in the heavyweight tournament as well. No, he can't even sell my joke. Okay. All right. We have four men fighting on April 29th here in Holland who will win this heavyweight tournament. Here are the athletes. Introducing first, ladies and gentlemen, one of my personal favorite fighters. I just love his style. I like his grit. I like his attitude and the fact that he's fighting tomorrow night as a light heavyweight and then putting on weight to fight as a heavyweight in April speaks volumes. Please welcome the man who fights out of Algeria by way of France, Nordine Mehedine. Let me ask you a question real quick. Why did you want to fight in this tournament? Why would you want to fight in a heavyweight tournament just two months after fighting as a light heavyweight? Pourquoi tu veux combattre euh, en poids lourd alors que là tu es euh, en mi lourd? Et parce que mon objectif c'est de réfléchir les poids lourds. À la base de base, je veux réfléchir les poids lourds. Je veux pas être un poids partisan de guerre. He said, um, my main goal was to stay with the heavyweights, uh, so that's why. Okay, pretty simple. Do you believe that you have what it takes to be the heavyweight champion of glory? Est-ce que tu penses que tu as ce qu'il faut pour battre le champion du glory chez les poids lourds? Bien sûr. He said yes, of course. Merci beaucoup. All right, have a seat. The second fighter in our four-man tournament for April 29th, he hails from Bosnia but currently lives in Switzerland, and he'll be making his debut in glory. He's got a nickname that sounds pretty nasty. Let's see how tough he is. He is the Iron Bull, ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome Inver Slivar. 
Welcome to Glory. What was your reaction when you got invited to this four-man heavyweight tournament? I will be uh, I'm really happy to become this chance to prove me and to fight with the best. Yeah. How would you describe your fighting style? Most of us here haven't seen you. Uh, I come here to fight, not make a show. Uh, I want to, to prove uh, that uh, that I'm I'm a fighter, the real Iron Bull. This is my nickname, and uh, yeah, I become this uh, with my style in the fight. I give it everything. Yes. Good luck. Give it up for the Iron Bull. And speaking of light heavyweights going up to heavyweight, this man has had a body transformation. I almost didn't recognize him, but he has fought up at heavyweight before, at light heavyweight. I believe he's even fought at super middleweight. This man is always ready for a fight. Please welcome to the heavyweight tournament, Luis Tavares. Hello, my friend. What was it like putting on all of this weight to become a heavyweight again? Was it fun? Was it uh, tough? Yeah, I came from a dark place the last couple of months, so uh, the weight was uh, a product of that. So a lot of hate in me, but I will take it out in, uh, in the tournament. So are you going to be able to turn all this into muscle and become the killing machine that we remember? It already is muscle, but you will see it uh, 29th of April. All right, good luck to you, Luis. Luis Tavares. And then finally, don't let his nice nickname fool you. He is a big, strong man, ladies and gentlemen. 21 and 2 with 10 knockouts. Please welcome Tariq Asaro. He is Cookie. <laughs> You've got a great nickname, a nice smile. You dress so well. You look so nice. But that's not how you fight in the ring, is it? Not at all. <laughs> what can we expect from you in this four-man heavyweight tournament in April? Uh, what you expect of me every fight. Like I say, I come to throw bumps. So I'll be throwing bumps on the 29th of April. Have you been in a four-man tournament before? Yes, last year. How'd it go? It went well. I won. <laughs> oh, that is pretty well. Let's see if he can do it again. Give it up for Cookie, everybody. So there we go. These four athletes up here, these these four super talented guys. Um, it's very interesting because we've got Luis coming up a, coming up a weight class. Nordin over there. Uh, Anver's got an incredible record. And Cookie, well, you've seen him in the ring. So we have some other news about this tournament as well. Two other things, actually. First of all, the winner's going to get one of those qualification spots into the GP tournament at the end of the year, automatically. So whichever one of you guys wins, you're in to the $500,000 tournament. So the second thing, some other news, is that the other thing that's going to happen is the winner of the tournament is going to fight for the World Heavyweight title in June, interim World Heavyweight title versus Antonio Plazibat. <laughs> so <laughs> that is what's on the line on the 29th of April. Scott, can, do you have the matchups for the first round? Yeah, I do have the matchups. Um, the first matchup is going to put, we put them on opposite tables because I don't want to be in between this going on. But we're going to have Enver fight Luis, and we're going to have Cookie fight Nordin. These are the matchups for the, for the, for the tournament. <laughs> All right, uh, we're going to pass the mic around for some questions from the media. Obviously, once again, to reiterate that it's going to be Luis Tavares versus the Iron Bull and Nordin Mehadin versus Cookie in the first round. The winner of that tournament will be fighting Antonio Plazabat for the heavyweight championship of the world, the interim title. And then they will also be put into the Grand Prix tournament in December. So, so much to fight for coming up in April. First question. Go ahead. Hey everyone, Tim Wheaton here. Question for Louise. First of all, how you doing today? How's everything feeling? Um, can you hear me? Yeah, loud and clear, man. I'm doing well. Um, it's a little bit unfamiliar to be back, uh, staring at you guys. <laughs> um, a lot of faces who I don't really want to see. <laughs> 
You're talking about me? <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah. It will get used to it. I will get used to it. Getting used to it, you're back. Maybe a few more fights this year. Let's say you win the tournament, you're going to be fighting Plazabot in yeah. June. How do you envision that fight going? Well, I always said I'm not here to participate in everything. So uh, if Plazibot, uh, when I win the tournament, it's going to be Plazibot. And then uh, I will beat him too. Simple as that. I know he's lurking here some, somewhere. Great. Thank you very much. <laughs> there you are. There you are. I was waiting for you, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, you got fed too, bro. Me fed. I know King Gal. Is Mike is is Mike doing is Mike is Mike doing your diet? Who you want? You wanna stand up? Who you want? <laughs> is Mike doing your diet? Uh. Is Mike doing your diet? It looks like he's doing your diet. That's why. Like like no, 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 no. <laughs> you fight pancakes. Bro. I, I, hey, you hey, fight pancakes. Hey, hey. I you got the pancakes. apes. You fight pancakes. What you got? You fight pancakes. Get your shirt up. Get your shirt up. Tomato cakes. You fight pancakes, pancakes and tomato cakes. Wait. Now you, now you are one. Who Tavares won? Who you want? Who you fought? <laughs> Bro, who do you fought? Who do you fought? Tarek, Tarek was beating you. Huh? You fought the old man. You fought, you, you've been fighting old men. You fight the old men. Go sit down, please. No, no, no. Go sit down. Go sit down. Get your weight down. You will lose. You have a bad fight in front of you. Bro, don't you are originally a light heavyweight like me. No, 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 no. You I are originally a light heavyweight like me. What do you want to do, bro? Huh? What do you want to do? Listen, if when he beats you, Who's gonna beat you? Kofi. He beats you. He should train his partner. No, okay, no, I get no, no. that. He beats you. Yeah. But in the end, even if you don't fight me, I fight you. No problem. Whatever you want. Bro. Yeah, I fight you. No Whatever you want. I come to the gym, I beat the fuck out. <laughs> yeah. We will see. We will see. You out easy. We will see. You You're out welcome, easy. bro. All right, guys. You're welcome. This is gonna be a tournament. You got some other guys to get through as well. Sit down, go. Yeah, yeah, just go make the fight now also. Yeah. No, not now, please. We need more cameras. Got some other guys here. Some more questions. I got a question for uh, Plazibat. Uh, like you said, if even if he doesn't win the tournament, you will fight him. Uh, do you mean that you will fight him outside? Uh, this is very, very easy. If Scott allows me, I come to his gym, knocks him out. He can wear 10-ounce gloves. I will not wear a mouthpiece. He can wear the helmet, the shin guards, the everything, whatever he wants. I come, uh, he can wear MMA gloves. I come, I come with like 22-ounce big, big gloves, and we can make a sparring. Uh, You're full of stories, I'm in bro. Holland like in like a uh, week, stories, 10 bro. days, so we can do it there. I can be his sparring party for the next fight. And yeah, he's... Uh, do you know maybe him? <laughs> Donegi a bane or something? Yeah, what's happening? Another, another faker. Another faker. You so both yeah. are cut from if the same Scott cloth. Allows bro. It, we have like the glory. You both are cut from the same cloth, bro. Yeah. That's a different league. We do it in the ring in front of thousands of people. <laughs> what you guys do outside the ring, he can, but just he don't will, get he injured. We lose the next fight, so that, that's the problem. We will see. I got another uh, question. Yeah, but 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 Plazi, the last guy to beat you is sitting over there. Yeah, yeah. Who's I also a light heavyweight, hey, but uh, that's, but uh, that's why I don't talk shit to him. <laughs> <laughs> you know. <laughs> and he's also a light heavyweight. So. <laughs> this, in my opinion, the tournament is very hard, and Tariq is uh, here, a fat guy, to get knocked out, and that's it. Yeah. Ask and Nordin. Ask Nordin what it what it takes to beat Antonio Plazabot since he's already done it. Il te demande qu'est-ce qu'il faut qu'est-ce qu'il faudrait pour battre Plazabot vu que tu l'as déjà fait. On va dire que chaque combat il est différent. Chaque combat il est différent. Il a évolué donc ça lui de trouver ses armes. 
he said uh, every fighter is different every fight is different so it's up to him to find to find the right solution to beat him I got another question for uh, Luis. Uh, why did you decide to go up to heavyweight instead of fighting, uh, trying to fight guys like Abena or uh, Moomin, for example? Because he lost. <laughs> what was your question again? I didn't hear you. Uh, why did you decide to go up to heavyweight instead of uh, trying to fight uh, Abena or Moomin, for example? You're really uh, mentioning Moomin now. Do you want me to really answer your question? Uh, yeah, he's new to light heavyweight, <laughs> so I don't know. Bro, stop playing, man. I'm not going to answer shit. Okay. Uh, then a question for Plazivat. But I will say this. <laughs> <laughs> I still have something to say. I'm now, hev li uh, I'm now heavyweight. If that guy who's sitting over there has the balls to fight me, I will win this tournament, go down, beat him. And then beat this guy. Please, please, don't come for me, boy. Don't come for me. Bro, you got fat, bro, so don't come shut for up, me. Please. You're fighting at heavy weight, right? Bro, then don't shut come up, for me. Shut up, shut because up. If, you want, if you really want shut to up, fight me, up. you will nobody, stay at heavy weight. Bro, nobody, nobody understands you. you you're you're talking gibberish, bro. Shut the fuck up, bro. Hey. Shut the fuck get up, Get the needle please. out of your ass, please. bro. Get the needle out of your bro, ass. Bro, shut. <laughs> get the needle out of your ass? Uh -huh. Bro, get the uh -huh. fuck out of here, bro. Okay get the fuck then. out of here. Yeah, okay, yeah. then. Okay, you're then. Talking bullshit, juice boy. You're Relax, talking, juice boy. You're talking bullshit. Relax, juice come say boy. It now, then. Come say it now. Say I say it right. Yeah, come I'm say it now, then. You stand up. You stand up and come see, say it. You see where I'm at. Come bro, to me. Come up. Stand come up. Okay, you're then You're talking relax. shit. You're, you're, you're just relax, a guy full of shit, bro. Relax. Relax. You're full of shit. Relax, little man. You're full of shit. Hey, go take as many ritual baths if you need. I'm gonna st I'm gonna murder you, bro. I'm murder gonna me. murder you. Murder me. Bro, I'm gonna my, murder you. Address, so if you want me. if you want to me. fight, I'm gonna murder you. I will take your soul. I'm telling you, I'm telling I'm saying it right now. It I'm gonna murder you. I'm going to murder you. It it sounds bro. to I'm me. I'm gonna take like your soul. We need to get yeah, yeah, yeah. You're talking shit. Like You're talking a lot of shit, bro. Nobody likes you. Who likes you? <laughs> who likes you, bro? you who likes you? It sounds to me you're, like you're we need to get some the glory. Belt, the belt you have on is not even real gold. Bro, you're a faker. <laughs> you're a faker, bro. We need to get some fights going in the public as soon as possible. We got a lot of energy here in the room. Well, Luis is going to fight Antonio and apparently Abena in the parking lot today. <laughs> and a four-man tournament Both next week. at the same time. <laughs> wow. Everybody wants to fight him. Leave him alone. Who wants to beat Cookie's ass? Anybody want to yeah. fight Cookie? <laughs> Jeez. All right. All right, just a couple more questions, and they can't be about Louise fighting anybody else, all right? <laughs> Go ahead. My uh, question is for uh, Tarek Cookie. Um, yeah, what do you think about your uh, opponent? You have a, a strong opponent uh, in front of you. What is your plan for, uh, for, the, uh, for Glory uh, the 85? You already know my plan. I just said that. I'm very excited to, be uh, to participate in this tournament. And I'm also very excited with an opponent like Mahidin. I think he has a lot of experience. He has been there, he has done that. So for me, it's again another test to show uh, I belong to the top. So I'm very excited with this chance and opportunity uh, to show you guys the 29th of April what I have in me. Thank you. And uh, another question for uh, Antonio Plazibat. Uh, is it just me or do you look skinnier? Uh, right now I'm about 25, 20, 125, 26 kilos. I'll be the same weight as usual, 20, 25, something like that. But the, yeah, this is new suit, so probably a little bit darker, so yeah. <laughs> I thought maybe, maybe, maybe it was a plan uh, because you are also fighting no, for no, no, no. I am on a uh, mic diet, so no cutting weight for me. No. <laughs> no. Thank you, thank you. Another question for Antonio. Uh, of course, Mahadin is standing there. He, uh, you fought twice. It's uh, one and one now, if I'm not wrong. Uh, would you like to meet him in the final? Uh, I think the tournament, it's, it's very good. It's for Mahadin. It's going to be very hard fight first against Kuki. 
I'm really excited to, to watch that fight. That's like the fight that I want to see also. I think Mahadin is very good technical fighter. Very nice to see. Cook is a little bit more power puncher. And we see who wins the tournament. That, that's the question. But I think, I think Mahadin and uh, Cookie are the favorites, in, in my opinion. It's a shame they meet like the, the first fight, from what I understand. But uh, yeah, I think the first fight is basically the finals. Who won that fight maybe wins the tournament. Um, Bjarne Colette from uh, Beyond Kick. Um, I have a qu question for Nordine. Uh, you just said you, uh, it was always a plan to stay at heavyweight. Um, so why did you take the light heavyweight fight you have having now? Uh, tu as dit que ton plan c'était d'aller chez les poids lourds. Mais uh, pourquoi tu as décidé du coup d'aller chez les mi-lourds pour remonter chez les poids lourds En fait, à la base, je voulais perdre, je voulais perdre du gras. Donc, euh, enlever tous les superflus. Du coup, je me suis retrouvé à 5 kilos. Je me suis dit, pourquoi pas descendre à 95 C'est pas loin, pourquoi pas tester C'était une idée que j'avais dans ma tête. Et, euh, et voilà. Et là, le but, c'est de remonter proprement. Euh, demain, je vais faire un combat. On va voir comment ça va se passer, comment je me sens. Et on verra pour la suite, Inch'Allah. Um, uh, initially, I was just trying to lose fat. And when I reached... Uh, a certain, uh, a certain weight, I was like, okay, I think I can go to the light heavyweight division. And um, after that, um, I think tomorrow I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to see how it goes. And from that point, we will see again uh, how to go up uh, at heavyweight, but I want to build that properly this time. Enver, no one's asked you a question yet. You're the, everyone's talking about fighting Luis Tavares. You're actually going to do it. Uh, what do you know about him, and what kind of fight do you think it's going to be? Um, I don't know. Uh, all fights I'm going to inside in the ring, I want to win. Uh, don't care. I want to fight with the best. Antonio Plazibet is from my neighborhood. From Croatia, and I'm from Bosnia Herzegovina, and uh, he makes a, a really great score in the glory, and I'm to to be happy to to become to this change in glory, and uh, prove me that I wanted to fight with the best. And Antonio Plazbet, big respect, and I hope uh, in this 29th April is my uh, my day, and uh, I can fight uh, after with Antonio Plazbet, and uh, we. <laughs> We show uh, we are from Balkan and we have a lot of uh, hurt and uh, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. What does I he hoped. mean? Antonio, I hoped. what does he mean? What does he mean, Antonio? He's from your neighborhood. Well, I think what he, what he wants to try to say is uh, that uh, Balkan people, Serbians, Croatian, Bosnians, Montenegros are pretty hard to fight and they always come to fight and every fighter that came out of there you have a problem with him so I think that's what he meant yeah. <laughs> that I mean yes uh, we don't take a uh, doping or something we just uh, have a <laughs> we just have a the hurt and uh, the <laughs> yeah do you have a left kick like Merkel Krokop Yes. Okay. Right kick, hospital, left kick, cemetery? Yeah, for me, that's not the case. But uh, maybe once I throw a high kick where Mike is not disappointed in Lazy, me. But so when you throw a high kick, it's always a low kick. Yeah, that's true. I'm not hiding it. I'm not the kicker. So, But for you, like I said, you MMA gloves, me big gloves. Yeah, yeah knockout. Simple. All right. Let's get the guys up here. Cookie, Nordine. Couple stare downs, guys. Four man tournament. This is our first fight Nordine Mehadeen versus Cookie.
and gentlemen. And those who In our second fight, Luis Tavares fighting out of Rotterdam, the Netherlands, and the Iron Bull from Bosnia, Inver Slivar. Now all four of you guys, Antonio, all four of you guys up for the picture? Scott, everybody line up for a picture? We're good? All right. One final time, guys, give it up. April 29th here in Holland, four-man heavyweight tournament. Thanks, guys. Good luck to you. Good luck, good luck. Goodbye. So, guys, we're going to break this down and get set up for our weigh-ins for Glory 84 here momentarily. All right? So stick around.